Hello again. Uh, this story is from the second book of Kings, and it concerns a very poverty-stricken woman, very down on her luck. And one day, just by pure chance, she happens to notice the king walking along the city wall. So she calls up to him. She says, help me, my lord king, help me. He looks down. He can see what state she's in and everything. And he says, uh, help you, madam, help you. I don't really see how I can. I mean, if the Lord God hasn't seen fit to help you, I don't really see what I could possibly do. Oh, is that a diamond ring I just dropped there? Uh, could you pass that back up, please, Miss Poverty Stricken Woman? Just throw that back up here. I was always bleed dropping these damn diamond rings. And these sapphire ones. That sapphire one there is particularly bad. It's always falling off that one. And that ruby one? Well, that's not much better either. I really should stop wearing as many of these damn rings, to be honest. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, no, I can't think of a single thing I could possibly do to help you, madam. But I do have a very good listening ear, so uh, please tell me. What aileth thee, madam? What aileth thee? She says, what aileth me? What fucking aileth me? What aileth me? Let's see if I can give you a clue as to what fucking aileth me. This woman came up to me the other day and she said, if you will boil your son today that we may eat, I will boil my son tomorrow that we may also eat tomorrow. <laughs> King's looking down, he's going, yes. Do continue, crazy woman, do continue. And she says, well, obviously I did think this was a good deal. So I did boil my son that day that we did eat. But when it came to the next day, this woman, she hid her son away that we did not boil and eat. I'm reading this. I'm thinking, well, what did you fucking expect? And what did you think the king was going to do about it? Anyway, what do you think he was going to say? He's going to say, oh, well, that's just not sporting, is it? Tell you what I'll do. I'll send out a garrison of men immediately. We shall capture this woman and force her to boil all of her children, that we may all eat. You know, I mean, I read this. I thought, well, this is ridiculous, because I completely con conned myself on this. I thought this woman was informing the king initially about some crazy woman going around making wild cannibalistic suggestions. And she wasn't. She was complaining to him that she'd been conned out of a frickin' meal. You know, I mean, the Bible's full of gems like this. There's more gems like this in the Bible than bloody gems on the rings of the king's fingers. You try saying that after you've had a few to drink. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Another heartwarming story from the Bible. And uh, <clears throat> probably just as well I'm finishing now because the vice is going. And I'm going to go with it. See you soon. Bye.